<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, got a Wish.com package here. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of sawdust on it. Been doing projects all morning. Anyway, this I believe is my saddlebags for the bike that I ordered. Um, I believe they were $12 and then like $3 shipping. It's either that or my bike rack. Um, so we'll find out here though. So. Find out together, aren't you? As you guys know, I'm trying to get into uh, mountain biking. I've been going now for about a month. <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot of uh, extra money to spend on any of this stuff, really. Even on Wish.com, we're probably pushing it a little bit. But hopefully this stuff will be okay and do what I need it to do. <clears throat> and I'll... Uh, I'll do a future review on this stuff. Um, oh yeah, it's my rack. Um, you know, let you guys know how it holds up or what not. And, uh, came uh, pretty quick. It wasn't supposed to be here until the 22nd. And it came today on the 11th. So, uh, yeah, about 10 days early, I guess. Or, yeah, 11 days early. Heck, they sure do package it pretty well. Surprised. Put a, uh, I'll put a picture up <clears throat> showing you guys the uh, the ad for it on uh, Wish.com. Send you a little screenshot. So <clears throat> I have a full suspension power climber. Some of you guys know. I know it's a cheap bike, but. It's what it is, and it's what I can afford right now. Um, and so I needed to find a bike rack that would <clears throat> not need um, to be tied down to the, the uh, lower bracket on the frame. Um, and this appears to be it. Comes with some nuts and bolts couple little pieces of rubber, uh, actually hex bolts, washers, normal install stuff. So, and you got the little arms here that hang off the side. It's really lightweight, I mean it's super light. Um, <clears throat> like the whole thing and maybe, maybe if it's lucky a pound. Um, right here in the morning, 20 pounds, 9 kilograms, is the uh, weight limit. And I can't read the rest of it. It's in a whole other language that I do not know. I, I do not like stickers, so there they go. Well, not warning stickers anyways, so. Um, I don't know, it feels lightweight, lightweight scares me sometimes, um, I don't know, I never know how they're going to perform, you know, oh wow, there is a lot of tension on this, like that, that's 
supreme amount of tension. Uh, that's got to be, I'm thinking like 10 pounds of tension. Uh, got the uh, connection here where it goes around your seat post. A little swing over. Lock nut here. Oh. Pretty good. The uh, the hole where the the post goes through is kind of egg shaped. It's not perfectly round. I don't know if that's going to affect it or help it or I think it's going to end up with spacing. On both sides and maybe not create that great of a that great of a hold but like I said we will find out I will I'll get it installed and um, I'll get it installed the welds look pretty good one weld there don't look that bad Yeah, that's that. Got a little, like a plate, place to put a little plate or something back here in the back of it. Um, cool. I'm really happy this came. Like, um, being a full suspension bike, there's very little options for uh, for uh, racks and whatnot on the bike itself so I got that and then hopefully this other package is my uh, my bag feels like it Rip into it like a kid at Christmas. Oh yeah, it's definitely my bag. <clears throat> I went with the camo. I love camo. I really do. Um, I've always been an outdoorsy kind of person. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, so I love, I love camo. I love being outdoors. Uh, all my hats for camo. camo. Some of my shirts. I'll put a, a, a picture of it up um, of what it is and the uh, measurements. Now, when I was looking at it, it said this measurement here was seven and a quarter, and I was a little worried. It, it sounded small um, to me. So we got we got eight inches. So this is the bottom of the bag, bottom of one of the bags. All right, and then it didn't show this measurement here from side to side. We got uh, at about four and a half inches wide there. It's a, a nice heavy material. Um, it's not, I don't believe it's waterproof. I'll probably have to spray it down myself. Um, feels like a decent zipper. That one little pouch here. Nylon material on the inside of there. Another pouch. Kind of at an angle. Oh, that's not cool. That does not make me happy. All right, right out of the box, um, one of the zippers is messed up. All right, there we go. Pretty deep pockets. The uh, pockets are 
about nine and a half inches deep for the biggest one. And then the small one's about eight inches deep. Zipper opening six and a about seven inches. And the top one has kind of this flap, fold down flap here. Um, and we get into the main part of the pack, wherever the zipper is. This compartment is pretty, a pretty good size. More than enough for what I'll need. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there or not. But it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely waterproof fabric on the inside. So, got a carrying strap. So when you take it off your bike, you don't have to leave it on your bike. Uh, and then the same on the other side. I like, oh, you got some uh, reflective stripe here on the back of the bag. Reflective is always good. Quality of the straps seem all right. They're sewn in pretty heavy. Yeah, it looks like this will definitely work. Um, you know, for me, the, uh, I don't know about the bottom flapping. There is a little bit of a stiff material inside here, like a piece of plastic or cardboard inside. Um, so, kind of worried about that kind of coming into my spokes a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, if it is, then I can always modify something. That's what I like to do. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, please uh, like it comment subscribe uh i appreciate uh, all your comments um yeah and if you want follow me along and uh we'll always find something to do what's next that's the name of the channel so take care see you guys soon